What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video and in today's video guys I'm going to be going over the 1013 um, maintenance information on JP Grand Cross. So as you guys can see man, uh, this is going to be the patch notes right here and they got Awakened Easton Halloween version. Uh, I do like the uh, aesthetic she's got going on, it's kind of cool. Um, so appearance of one new character, uh, we'll go over her info, you know what, we'll go over info now and, and we'll go over her banner and stuff too so. Uh, let's see. Uh, the literally just came out, by the way, so we're probably gonna have a rough translation. So, uh, bear with me uh, when going over the the patch here. Um, but let's see. So, what do we got going on here? So, each enemy who is unable to fight in PvP, the basic status of humans increased by seven percent. In the turn of the allies, the allies of the human tribe, if you disable an enemy during the war, at the end of the turn, decrease the death blow by all enemies by two pieces so oh my god no way human team but she's green though so she's not and this is backland for human though wait okay first skill flood okay flood single target second skill aoe gauge reduction and then uh flood on our ultimate okay you know from the looks of it this doesn't seem too crazy right each enemy who is unable to fight in pvp the basic stat of human allies is increased by 7% in the turn of the allies, the allies of the human tribe. If you disable an enemy during the war, at the end of the turn, decrease the death blow. Okay. So basically, if you kill someone... <laughs> Bear with me, guys. Just woke up. <laughs> if you kill someone, then it lowers their uh, ultimate mood gauge. I assume this is like... Part of this is like uh, Athena's passive or, you know, like Garad's Holy Relic. I assume it's like that. Um, but yeah, that's going to be her. Let's see her banner. Um, only Halloween units. Okay, and she's at 300-600. Okay. Yikes. I, all I'll say right now is she's okay. Um, from the looks of it, guys, she doesn't look anything too crazy. I mean, I could be, uh, you know, mistranslating this, like, fairly wrong. But from the looks of it, it doesn't seem too crazy. It's a human buff, right? It's a human buff. Uh, it's a PvP only, uh, you know, passive right there as well. It's a backline, though. So she could be a backline. Um... Yeah, I mean, right now, human meta is bond meta, so I don't know if she's really going to be useful on that team. Because uh, she would have to replace the Twigo slot. It really depends how well uh, she can perform in that slot. Um, but yeah, moving on, we do got another uh, card set right here. Let's actually see what this is about. Um, Japanese, let's see. Uh, bingo events in the battle against the night boss increases damage by... Oh, okay, so knighthood boss battle increase? I like that, okay. Um, so you get increased damage uh, in the Knighthood uh, boss, which is pretty good. That's a really good card set, actually, just for a Knighthood thing. Uh, new sales pack. So they have this one available uh, as well. <laughs> Got some gem packs. Uh, you know, pretty standard. I, I think this one's different, actually, though. This one right here is different. I don't think they've had this one before. Um, yeah, standard gem, uh, gem packs other than that. Um... Adding uh, ranking to Super Brawl. Oh, Super Brawl. What is this? Top 100 for Brawl? What? You added an automatic team function to Brawl. We will add an auto formation function that will allow you to read the top formations of top users. And Okay, so you can copy paste teams from top users. Added display of the event login receipt uh, period. So you can see how long the event's going for. Okay. Improve the ranking page of PvP. Improve the display of the ranking page. Okay. Improve the production of the training cave. Improve the speed of opening. Okay, that's good. That's definitely good. Oh! No way! They got their fifth weapons! They got, <laughs> they got their fifth weapons! Zeldris, Esterosa, and Assault Melee are getting fifth weapons. New costume, second coming of Demon Beast. Wait. Pause. Guys wait holy relic for them please let me just keep let me just let me just scroll down okay free halloween elaine that's good i own her already but that's pretty good um bingo right we got the bingo event as well oh my gosh they cannot bait us like that bro wait uh oh you can buy these in the in pvp shop that's really good okay wait let me go back um, because I saw the outfits for Assault Melee, Esrosa, and Zeldris. Bro, they're finally getting their fifth weapons, but you have to buy them. <laughs> Let's go. Um, we'll take it, man. We'll take it. I think these are W outfits, too. So, no, that's sick. Okay. 
Assault Mel- the, the demons are getting their weapons, man. You love to see it. Now we just have to wait for the Holy Relics. I thought it would be because it said second coming of the demon beast, right? Like, cause this looks like the, like the deer, you know what I mean? Like this outfit on Astro also looks kind of like the deer. So I'm thinking they might, <clears throat> they might do like a Holy Relic. They might, but not this patch though. Um, but they might do a Holy Relic. But guys, fifth weapon for Assault- I'm tired of putting down the title, bro. Fifth weapon for the Assault uh, mode characters, basically. That's crazy. Um, you gotta login bonus of 100 gems. Oh, this is- yeah, so this is the- uh, for the anniversary login bonus. So this is gonna be starting. We get 30 gems day one, 10 gems for uh, another 5 days, and then on the 7th day we get 20 gems. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and then free blue Elaine. You get one multi on the Halloween banner as well. Not too bad. Um, we got like this little, uh, you know, um, event here as well. So, you know, you do get, oh, whoa. Happy Halloween gift box rewards. You get a pen, you get a pendant and gems. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, this is going to be the bingo event. Okay. Um, and then when you clear through this, you do get the like outfit pieces. You get a SSR pin as well. Halloween Golders outfits coming back pretty good pretty good this is gonna be the event dungeon uh you know clear stage these are gonna be the halloween furniture and yeah and then that's basically it they're updating these for the reward list for the for the thing as well um yeah and then this is just like a pvp reward event so you get these okay so you get two ssr tickets at the very end that's good that's two weeks worth of uh, ssr tickets um, double the patrol dispatch tickets as well. Increase rewards for clearing daily missions, so you do get um, a little bit more as well. <coughs> and then uh, battle event here, uh, and then yeah, uh, fix an issue with the battle cannot be cleared in situations in Ike Dinner. When Twisted Demon Estros's combat is cancelled due to the effect of Shuna's Sacred Thing, the debuff. Oh, okay, sick my alarm. Uh, the Darkness debuff fixed on in the issue where okay. And then you can buy a thing from Fight Festival Shop though. This is really good. This is a good change, man. Because we had Nighthood Shop only. And this uh, shop being added too is good. Hopefully they announce, uh, you know, what's it called? Original Demon Food soon though, man. But yeah, guys. Uh, that's going to be it for the past notes, man. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are excited for the East. And if we go back to her, her kit here. Um... I don't think she's too crazy, you know what I mean? Like, she's she's there, she's a backline for human support. And when we get her full translations, though, she'll, she'll probably be, you know, from what we'll see, she'll probably be pretty good. But, you know, the banner is kind of a yikes. You know, it is the Halloween year, so there's a lot of limited characters you could summon if you do need any of these characters. Um, but, you know, for me, it, it doesn't seem like too good of a banner, because the only character I'd really need is going to be the new Easton. Um... But yeah, man. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are excited for the East End. I think the main takeaway from this update is the fifth weapons for the Assault Mode characters. So Assault Mode, Esterosa, Meliodas, and then uh, Amidus Nebula, Zelda. So I think, I think that's pretty cool, man. So that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always. If you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out and have a great rest of your day.